good. Connor, um, I don't mean for this to sound loaded, but th- that second half in particular, I mean, is there much you can do when Michigan can get an effective pass rush, even when maybe they're outnumbered in the box? It just felt like they were bringing four and still affecting you. Yeah, uh, it's definitely tough, but, you know, in the same way we fa- we did it the first three games, you just got to find a way. Um, no matter what's going on, no matter the circumstance, you know, we were in the f- – starting the fourth quarter, we were down seven right where we wanted to be. I mean, if you would ask any of us coming into the game, down seven going into the fourth, uh, I think everyone on the team would tell you that we're, we're going to win that game. So, um we just got to be better in the fourth quarter, uh, second second half in general. So, yeah. Where's Jim and Dustin? Connor, you guys did a great job in the first half staying close. Defense did a great job also. Uh, but in that second half, following up on that, you guys were basically shut down uh, 263 to 29. What was the difference for you, what you were, were seeing, what they were uh, doing to, to prevent that? Um. You know, I think a lot of it was uh, they were taking away the short throws, short perimeter throws that we were getting eight, nine yards on in the first half. And they were just uh, getting pressure, um, making it hard on me. But, you know, we got to find a way and you know, nobody really cares. So. Hey, Connor, just uh, sticking with what you said about pressure, I mean, did they change anything about where they were bringing it from, how they were bringing it? I mean, was there anything that changed about how they put pressure on you in the second half? Uh, no, a lot, of, a lot of it was pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, four-man, five-man rushes. Uh, you know, they didn't – I don't think they brought a bunch of, you know, exotic pressures and uh, some of the stuff we had seen on the film. But um, – yeah, I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch the film and and see, but just my early reaction. Griffin third along the right, and Max. Connor, can you kind of walk me through just kind of what halftime adjustments look like for you guys, and, and just kind of we've seen the second half or just Taylor two halves in every game you guys have played this season. Is there a conversation about maybe what they might be changing that's going to challenge, and how you guys are going to respond? What's that dialogue like? Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, we were tied ten to ten at half, so. Um, you know, really, we scored two touchdowns in the first half, and um, you know, one of them got called back, uh, whatever. But, um, you know, the, Michigan, their defense, they do so much um, coverage in, in the back end that you don't really know what they're going to play. I mean, we were getting a lot of man, so we expected a lot of man and had some man beaters um, that we called in the second half. and. Uh, we just couldn't couldn't get him off, couldn't get the ball up, ball out of my hand soon enough. So, um, yeah. Connor, first few games, it was the second half where you guys really were able to come alive. In these last two, you've been able to put up points in the first half. What what's the step that you guys need to take to get to play a full full four quarters? Um, I think it's just. Um, just doing the little things right, um, executing no matter, you know, first play of the game is just as important as, important as the last play. Um, so I think just knowing how important each play is and taking every play one at a time. Patrick on the right, Mason. I know in the first half you guys went a lot to shorter, quick pass plays, namely to the running backs. Was there something that changed in the second half that stopped you guys from going to those? Uh, yeah, they were, like I said earlier, they were covering us down on the screen, on the uh, short perimeter throws. And, um, you know, those throws are pretty much extensions of the run game. So um, you know, we got to be able to run the ball. And uh, they were kind of second half, they were covering us down more on that. Like if we got three guys, it's three three over three. So um, in the first half, there was a lot of two and then a high safety over three, which gives you a chance to, to kick it on the perimeter. Connor, with your quarterback kind of holistic view on the offense, what is there a certain element of the offensive line that you're seeing just not execute correctly, or is it just kind of a whole group effort? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go back, watch the film. But um, 
those guys, I mean, they're working their butts, their butts off. And um, as much as people want to talk down on them, I mean, they're, they're working hard every single day, just like the rest of the team, giving it their all. Um, you know, they're fighting out there. They're, so, you know, those are my brothers. I love them. And you know, I'm never going to say anything bad about them. Great. Thanks, Connor. Thanks, guys.